They are some of the biggest radio energy explosions the universe has ever seen. The vast strength and energy that the sun radiates throughout our solar system are constantly brought to mind by the sun. It's hard to think of something that could be better than our sun, yet exist outside of our own star, a cosmic wonder that dwarfs even the most powerful solar giants. A large red supergiant star supernova that looks to be small is Betelgeuse. We estimate that it must be at least eight times as huge as our sun based on its vast girth, erratic pulsations, and unpredictable attitude. Scientists claim that Betelgeuse is a star that defies easy explanation in all of its power and potential. But as they investigated this magnificent star, they discovered something terrible. This star is on the verge of exploding as it approaches the conclusion of its existence. So when and why is a supernova predicted to occur? And will this situation be disastrous for the Earth? You will get to know this and many more as we dive into details. However, before getting started with the video officially, Here's a quick reminder that you can subscribe for free and like the video so that we can boost the algorithm. Comments are most welcomed. One of the brightest stars The vast majority of people are unaware that Betelgeuse occasionally appears in the sky. If you're looking up into the night sky in the northern hemisphere during the winter, you can't miss it. Take a quick look at the constellation. The orange-red star that makes up the upper left corner of the rectangular constellation is Orion, making it easy to recognize. It is one of the biggest and brightest stars in the night sky. Since it is so difficult to ignore, you would see that the star truly undergoes a transformation during its peak if you paid great attention. It is one of the brightest stars, yet it sometimes loses part of its luster. That is not merely an accident. You see, to us, it just appears to be another star from where we are. It is not, to begin with, because it is located more than 640 light years from Earth. Even though it might not seem like much at first, the distance is enormous. Even if you could travel the speed of light, which we are unable to achieve, it would still take more than 640 years to get to Betelgeuse. Even our quickest spacecraft would require more than 12 million years to reach that location, which is longer than the whole history of human civilization on Earth. The continual variations in the light aren't primarily caused by distance, though. Betelgeuse is a huge pulsating star and is what we refer to as a throbbing red supergiant. When this occurs, the night sky's brightness can change, perhaps over a period of tens to hundreds of days, becoming brighter or dimmer. What is even crazier? Betelgeuse can be as brilliant as magnitude zero or almost plus 0.5 in terms of brightness. That span is quite wide. These changes occur in the cycles that are the shortest. The longest is 2,335 days, and the shortest is occasionally 185 days. A V-band magnitude, which we regard as Betelgeuse's gloomiest moment, occurred in February 2021. It reportedly had the lowest magnitude in a while in the V-band plus 1.614, according to reports. The light is still very brilliant, despite the fact that it is significantly darker than the Betelgeuse images we are accustomed to. Betelgeuse, though, is recognizable for reasons then other than its brightness. Its scarlet color results from its cool surface temperature of roughly 3,500 Kelvin, which is significantly lower than the surface temperature of our sun at 5,500 Kelvin. One of the biggest stars known to mankind is Betelgeuse. However, due to its lower temperature, it appears considerably fainter, suggesting that it emits significantly less energy per unit of surface area than the sun. It is comparable to a giant who is comfortable with his quiet demeanor and doesn't need praise to feel important. History and Details Don't let Betelgeuse's laid-back attitude mislead you. It is still a supergiant star with a mass of about 20 times that of the sun. That's partly because Betelgeuse has been studied extensively because it has been a well-known object in the night sky for many years. This object's Arabic name, which translates to the armpit of Orion, was given to it by the ancient Greek astronomer Ptolemy. Betelgeuse has been studied using the Atacama Large Millimeter Sublimeter Array. Modern Chilean observatory, also known as Alma Nu, details regarding the structure and behavior of Betelgeuse have been discovered by high-resolution images of the star's surface provided by ALMA. Our images capture the surface of Betelgeuse in remarkable detail and reveal intricate patterns of gas and dust. Astronomers can now model the behavior of the stars and forecast how they will behave in the future thanks to these discoveries. Betelgeuse's surface is similarly flecked with blackness. Star spots or magnetic spots are the names of these areas of the star's surface where the magnetic field is very intense. These regions are cooler than the surrounding gas because of the magnetic field's capacity to impede the flow of hot gas from the star's interior to its surface. This cooling effect makes the patches darker than the surrounding gas. Betelgeuse's magnetic field is allegedly thousands of times more powerful than the sun's magnetic field. 
The strong magnetic field causes gas to develop on the star's surface. Star spots are expected to become enmeshed in loops or arcs, resulting in visible regions of intense magnetic activity. Betelgeuse is not the only star with dark spots called star spots. Many stars, including our Sun, have them. However, Betelgeuse's star spots are particularly intriguing because they are far larger and more numerous than those on the Sun. Betelgeuse's spots, which can cover up to 20% of the star's surface and are several times the size of the Earth, are what give the star spot its name. Additionally, it has the capacity to alter the star's brightness over time. In the case of Betelgeuse's, the stars, the spots move in and out of you as the star spins, causing the total brightness of the star to change. This occurs as a result of the patch's colder temperatures, which cause them to emit less light than the surrounding gas. The dots may wander into and out of your frame of view as the star grows and shrinks, adding to the star's varying brightness. One of the strangest things about Betelgeuse is that it is not as special as you might think. There might not be many stars like it. However, some of them share some commonalities and are just as fascinating. One of Betelgeuse's cosmic cousins is Antares. He belongs to the Scorpius constellation and is a red supergiant. The Garnet star, also known as Alpha Muscae, may be found in Cepheus's Musca constellation. Alpha Muscae is the name of one of the largest stars in the universe, based on the radius. The size of Antares and Betelgeuse, or around 1650 times the size of the Sun, is that. A phi, or variable star, is one of the Milky Way's brightest stars. Galaxy, despite the fact that Betelgeuse stands out in a distinctive manner, each of these famous people is fascinating in their own right. It's intriguing to examine all the various qualities and traits that each star possesses, because they all contribute to the star's individuality. We'll use our sun as a point of comparison, as we all have a lot of familiarity with it, as opposed to Betelgeuse, Antares, and Musca. To highlight the discrepancies, we contrasted their differences. The stars in Fey are all red supergiants. Their distinctive characteristics and characteristics set them apart from one another. One of the three stars' main differences is size. For instance, the radius of Antares is around 700 times more than that of our sun-moon cafe, whereas the radius of Betelgeuse is roughly 1,000 times greater than that of our sun. The three stars have varying brightnesses, and the biggest star has a radius that is almost 1,650 times that of the sun. A supernova. You see, we've already discussed the star's pulsations, color, and overall habit. One conclusion that may be made from all of this is that a supernova is impending and may be coming very soon. When first heard about, a supernova sounds amazing, and in some ways, it is. Supernovas, on the other hand, are horrifying explosions that occur as some types of stars approach the end of their lives. These explosions produce some of the brightest lights because they unleash massive amounts of energy. The most extreme occurrences in the cosmos are supernovas, which come in two main categories, type 1 and type 2. When a white dwarf star, which is the compact remnant of a low-mass star, starts to accrete matter from a partner star and reaches a critical mass, supernova a type 1 happen. This starts an uncontrollable nuclear fusion process that rips the star apart. The star is always running out of time, even if its explosion causes terrible havoc. Type 2 occurs when a high-mass star runs out of fuel and is unable to maintain its structure through nuclear fusion. Type 1 is much less severe than type 2, which occurs when the star runs out of fuel. These elements are created during the process of nucleosynthesis, which occurs in the intense heat and pressure of the explosion. Every element is then sent into space where it may be one day used to build new stars and planets. In a way, the death of one star makes place for the formation of new ones. However, leaving elements behind isn't the only way to accomplish this. As we all know, it takes a lot to give birth to a star. In fact, the shock wave from a supernova can create new stars and even enough compressed nearby gas and dust clouds to create planets. Because they enable the measuring of distances to galaxies that are simply too far away to be calculated by traditional methods, supernovas are essential for cosmology. The expanding cloud of gas and dust that supernovas create when they burst can take on a variety of shapes and colors depending on the type of supernova and the environment it is in, making supernovas extremely spectacular. This is so that astronomers may use supernovas as reference candles to estimate distances because they have a constant peak brightness. Despite the fact that supernovas are beautiful to look at, one of the biggest concerns is the release of high-energy radiation. When a supernova bursts, gamma-ray radiation is produced in a flash that is millions of times more energetic than the energy that has been emitted during the period of our sun's existence. This radiation may spell the end of life on Earth. It can literally damage DNA and other biological substances, which are the building blocks of life. As far as we know, a shock wave is created when a supernova bursts. 
and it has the potential to move through space at incredibly high speeds, where it may crash with other things in its path. The same processes that lead to the formation of new stars and planets could also have the opposite effect. If a supernova were to erupt close, the wave from this explosion might potentially cause significant devastation to the Earth's atmosphere. Betelgeuse may go supernova at any time. Some researchers think it is about to happen, while others say it might happen in a million years or so. In fact, it might lead to worldwide extinctions. Is it tens of thousands of years ago? The cosmic event might be far closer than we'd like it to be even if the Earth is at a reasonable distance from the star given the level of dimming. I'll ask you if the Betelgeuse supernova could take the Earth with it, because in situations like these, you never really know how wacky things might get. Do let us know your opinions in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that thumbs up. It will help us to understand our audience and allows YouTube to suggest similar videos. Thanks for watching and we hope to see you at the next one.